I can feel it Somewhere inside haunting Like a drug I keep on wanting There's a love that fits so perfect It's hard to believe There's a reason I can feel my heart stop beating And the air gets tough just breathing I'm alone but I'm still feeling like someone's with me It's strange Cold Startup, CB500F, 2018. Cold Startup, CBR1000RR, 2018. What's going on guys and welcome back here to another episode. Uh, this one's gonna be a little bit different as you guys uh, could probably already tell by the way I'm dressed and uh, how it started. So we're gonna get into some arm wrestling stuff but I figured I would give you guys a little bit more of an insight on uh, other things that I do other than arm wrestling and start including them in the vlogs. All right, so um, we're riding today a little bit before we actually get into some training and whatnot. We got the bikes going. And we have this sick view. I don't know, you guys might not, I don't know how it picks it up on GoPro. We have views on views on views. I know what the plan is, is which we don't actually have a plan is we're taking these guys out for a rip. And um, we were supposed to head down to another spot which is now closed because the whole coronavirus thing, but that'll be for another video to come. We're gonna get some sick video footage here, some sick angles, and uh, then we're gonna get on. We're gonna head back to my place after and uh, we're gonna get some sizing up. We're gonna get some measurements. We're gonna do some training. Well, more to come, more to come. Yeah, I'll start the montage really quick and uh, enjoy. guys we're gonna measure the good old pythons here the biceps so now I got a pump let's give it a shot here we'll see what a, a good old amateur arm wrestler has for some little pythons <laughs> okay I'm hyping myself up but I'm really not so 40 we're looking at we're looking at 16.2 if I flip it over here 40 so 40 centimeters on the bicep, should be 6.2, 16.2 inches. <sighs> Time for some forearms. Let's give it a shot. So, I guess we'll go in from this angle. Let's do... Did you just blow 35? So let's do, see here, let's say we're on that line of the five. So if we flip it over, we have about 34 and a half inch, uh, centimeters, sorry. 34 and a half, so which gives me 
13 and a half from a previous that was an old one 13.2 but yeah so 13 and a half we're getting there yeah. all right now we'll do the hand this is like forcing right now so let's do 27.2 exactly yeah so about 10.8 ish so we got the bicep forearm hand measurement Thought I'd give you guys a good estimation on uh, just my size in general. Just remember too that like, I'm not doing this to show you guys how big I am or anything. It's just to give you guys a, a good general overall explanation on how like, like I said, look, I'm 181 to 182 pounds ish. I'm not really a big dude. I'm about, a, yeah, 181. The forearms a little bit so bigger on average than my bicep, but I mean, in general, it's the way it is. Um, so yeah. All right, so you guys know the measurements now. It's pretty obvious. Um, I'm not a huge guy, I'm not a small guy, but I'd say I'm fairly average. Um, so I wanted to go over some stuff with you guys, um, just overall in general. Now, I am actually was training for a tournament that's coming up, or was coming up in uh, April, so it was April 25th, um, in Northern BC, so uh, you know, it's about 10 to 12 hours from Vancouver Island, um, where I'm from right now and it got canceled. So the plan right now, um, so the tournament was the, the Vern Marl Classic, um, which Vern Marl, I don't know if you guys know, he's a legend in the sport. But anyway, so the tournament got canceled obviously because of the whole COVID-19 situation. So I was gonna kind of go over that a little bit with you and some other stuff here, but. So the whole dealio with that, so the, I don't believe the actual tournament is canceled for good. I believe it's being postponed. That's what it's saying right now. It's kind of, it's kind of uh, on the crappier side of things as uh, I tend to do actual, I don't really know how many of you guys do training a program or a, a prep as if it was like a bodybuilding competition, but for arm wrestling, I, I try to do preps. I have everything written down. I start so many weeks out depending on where I am in the situation, but uh, it's kind of on the poopier side of things. <laughs> that um, it's canceled because I've been doing a program, I believe it was 18 weeks. So I, I started very, very early, maybe even too much. So that's kind of sucky. But anyway, we're gonna wait for the next one. I believe I was going to um, do a tournament. There's one coming up in the Okanagan, which is in June, I believe it's June 6th, um, which is also on the mainland of BC. And then there was one in Oregon, Port, uh, Eugene, Oregon, which is I think a couple hours out of Portland. So there's a couple of big tournaments coming up um, throughout the year that's gonna happen in June and August. With the Vern Model Classic being canceled or postponed, that one I'm hoping is still gonna be in there. It's just a matter of time now. So as it goes for training, um, I'm still gonna train hard. I'm gonna jump off a program until we kind of have more of a date, but I'm still gonna try to keep it up there. Anyway, so enough with that. I thought I would give you guys an update with that kind of stuff. And um, for the more important side of things, I want to know what you guys are thinking for the channel itself. Um, I don't want to be just your average arm wrestling vlogger training style. I, I really, and what I mean by that is I actually want to get you guys to come a little bit more into my life. I want to um, entertain you guys. I want you guys to follow and uh, check out the journey as well as, you know, see my actual hobbies and stuff like that too. So, in today's video, you guys saw that I actually took out my bike and I don't usually, I wasn't ever really thinking on putting it on the channel, but I think it would give you guys something a little different. I'm sure a lot of arm wrestlers out there have sport bikes or bikes in general and like to ride. So please let me know in the comments below if you guys actually enjoy the bike part of things because I'm, I'm thinking that I might start including it and you know, when the weather's nice or you know, I have good activity. I have, or I wanna go on a good ride and I wanna bring you guys with me, especially on training days. So in terms of recommendations for the channel, I just wanna kind of know what you guys are thinking. Obviously, you know, there's not many people watching right now or I'm not looking to get so many people to watch right now, but I just want people who are interested in arm wrestling and the same kind of hobbies, maybe if you guys have the same hobbies as I do to follow along. Um, and in saying that, um, I wanna know what you guys think about, you know, I do a lot of hobbies outside of arm wrestling, but I do a lot of riding, I have my sport bike, I'm an outdoors guy, so I do a lot of hikes. I fish. I don't know if I would include a lot of fishing on the channel, but if you guys want to see that, let me know. I'll definitely could include that maybe once in a while. And I do macro counting because I do a lot of 
powerlifting, not competition, but I do a lot of powerlifting, heavy lifting, stuff like that too. Especially for the amateurs or people coming into arm wrestling. If you guys are interested, even people maybe who are already pro or, you know, who have been in the game a long time. But I was thinking on doing tournament programs. Now, what I mean by this is that, um, you know, I was thinking on, example, I have a tournament coming up. Let's say the, the one that's coming up in August, which is in Eugene, Oregon. Now, what do you guys think if I were to do an actual program, like a gym program? I'll go through the whole series leading up until the, the tournament itself. So example, you know, I would film all my workouts. I'd tell you what equipment I'm using, what style am I training for, where do I want my strengths? And as you guys can tell now with like, you know, the measurements and I'm a top roller and you know, the very, very basic things. I think it'd be really interesting for the channel itself. It would give you guys something to follow along to and maybe there are amateurs out there too who are training for a program or don't really know how to go about things. But anyway, I'll leave it at that and the videos will get better, I promise you. Just give me time. I really want to start at the bottom and I want to work my way up. I really want to grow the channel. This is going to be a channel for years and years and years and years to come. And I'm doing this channel for growth and progress and I really want you guys to follow along. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave it on that note. Please subscribe if you already haven't. And guys, only, only if you've enjoyed the content, Please give it a like, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. See ya.